Good morning all. Hello Instagram and hello Facebook. Yes, I'm bundled again. You will probably see me bundled this whole week. I did not put, turn that fan off. I didn't put the heater on today like I did yesterday to get the chill out of the house because I'm enjoying the chill in the house today. But I do have my black sweats on and my comfy, comfy black sweatshirt. I think my mom gave me this sweatshirt. It's super soft. But when I told her that the other day, she looked at me like I was crazy. So I don't know. I could be wrong. But anyways, so I hope everybody is going to have a wonderful day today. And remember what we talked about yesterday, only you can set the tone for that. So start your day telling you and telling yourself, hi, Susan, that it is going to be a great day. I know it will for me. I am finishing activating those superpowers so I can get everything done. I have some laundry needs to be done. I was very focused this morning and I sprayed and wiped down my desk. As you can see over here, this desk is always a mess. I organized it this morning and sprayed and wiped that down. So, hi Steven. So, I have been on a roll this morning so far. And after this, I'm gonna check into my accountability groups and I'm going to answer messages because I have about six samples left. So don't forget, anybody that wants to try the healthy cafe smoothie or the healthy banana smoothie, with banana, vanilla smoothie, which by the way, you guys, this is the one that I use for um, my Thirsty Thursdays. I always end up using the vanilla to show you guys the healthy smoothie. So you have the availability of getting a free sample so you can try making one of the healthy smoothies that I've taught you to make. But anyways, let's talk about today's topic, which is about family being first. And honestly telling yourself and, and honestly knowing if you truly, truly, truly do put your family first. Um, there's some people that to always say family first, family first, family first. They swear up and down that they put their family first. But if you think about it, no, they don't. If you really think about what they do, and um, sorry, like I don't know why I'm in such a reorganizing mode today. That's the normal Tanya. Um, good morning, mom. So this is all about do you really put your family first? Hi, Angela. Good morning. And this is my question to you. When you're with your family, and I was bad last night. I was with Alex last night, and I had mentioned to him briefly, good morning, Amy, you know, let's let's bundle up outside because it's cold. We'll watch a movie outside on the back porch, and we no phones. We didn't bundle up out back to watch a movie. We put on regular TV. He started falling asleep, so I grabbed my phone, and then when he woke up, I was still hooked to my phone, so I was bad. So I didn't put my family first last night. But that's what I want to talk about. Do you really put your family first? When you're having that family time, when you're having that quality time, are you really in that time? Or are you either thinking of something else? Or are you, is your face in your phone? Because a lot of times we think just being with them, being in the same room is our quality time and we're putting our family first. However, that's not really true if we're on an electronic. So last night got me thinking about that. You know, like do we really put our family first? Like I try to, when the kids come home from school, no work for me, you know? Especially when they come home and they're leaving to go to their dad's. Because they come home and they're here for a little bit and then they leave. So I figured, you know, no electronics. Uh, good morning, Amy. No electronics and I'll just hang out with them for a little bit and then I can go back to answering messages later because my I need to show my kids that they're more important than the people that are in my phone. Um, but I didn't do that last night with my husband. I was scrolling on Pinterest because I'm getting my next tattoo on Sunday. So I was scrolling um, because I'm going to get on my shoulder so I wanted to look at some shoulder tattoos and stuff like that. And then my daughter had texted me, so I responded to her. Um, I realized I forgot to post something in my team page on Facebook, so I quickly did that. But I felt it wasn't that big of a deal because he was sleeping, but I guess it was because he knew what I was doing, um, even though he was sleeping. So tonight I'm going to fix that and I'm going to do better. But that's why I wanted to talk about this today, because how often do we do that? Give me a thumbs up or a heart if you find yourself doing that. When you're having that quality time with your family and you're on your phone or the computer or whatever the electronic may be. TV doesn't count because sometimes it's quality time laughing together as a family watching a movie, you know, with nobody on their phones and just 
hanging out together. So the TV doesn't count for this particular scenario. Um, so how often do you guys do that? Like when you're with your family, can you put your phone in another room? It's hard for me when my kids aren't here. Because when they're not here, yes, I'm getting warm and don't worry, I have a t-shirt on under here, but I gotta take this sweatshirt off. Um, when, when you're with your family, are you disconnected? Now for me, like what I was saying, that's hard for me when my kids are at their dad's because if they're texting me because they have a question or if, um, you know, there's an emergency or anything like that, like I wanna be able to be available for them. Good morning, Tony. So that's something I'm trying to work on with myself. Like tonight, if Alex and I are going to do the movie we were supposed to do last night, and hopefully he stays awake and I don't get stuck watching it by myself. But if we do that, I just need to now, I'll text the kids. Okay, guys, I'm disconnecting for a couple hours to watch a movie with Alex. If you text me, it'll take me a couple hours to get back to you. If it's an emergency, call me. That way, if my phone rings, if my watch rings, then I know. Um... But do you do that? Are you really spending that quality time? Are you 100% disconnecting? You know, and that means like, if you want to take a quick picture and post it before you start that quality time, it's fine. But during that quality time, you shouldn't be on social media. You shouldn't be, you know, especially with our kids. Because what's that, what is that showing our children? That whatever's in this little handheld device is more important than them. And trust me, even with them being young, they think that way. They think that way because my kids have told me that, not about me, but they have told me that, that they spent time with family member and that person was more in their phone than anything else. So they just felt like whoever they were talking to on their phone was more important. And none of us want our family, our kids or our spouses to feel that way. So we need to make sure that we're very mindful of what we're doing. Um, you know, and it's the same thing with taking phone calls or texts. I know sometimes a call is gonna come through, maybe a work call that you've been waiting for that you can't miss, or maybe someone calls you that normally doesn't call you, so you think it's an emergency. You know, that's what voicemail's for. They can leave a voicemail and you can just say, give me two seconds, let me just listen to this voicemail and make sure it's not an emergency and then I can call them back later. You know, that's fine. But the teenagers and the children that we're raising right now, it's all about electronics, right? So, with that being said, and it being all about electronics, we need to show and lead by example that our lives should not, should not be controlled by the electronics, by the video games, by the phones, by social media. You know, like, I know sometimes my kids, when they first wake up, I'll go in their room, wake them up, and then I'll go in a few minutes later, and they're laying in bed scrolling social media on their phone. That shouldn't be the first thing that they want to do when they get up. They should want to actually wake up, stretch a little bit, you know, go to the bathroom, get start getting ready for the day. But their first thing is to grab their phone. And that is because it's charging on their nightstand. But they use it as an, well, here in this house, they don't use it as an alarm clock. They have alarm clocks. But, you know, at their other house, they use it as their alarm clock. So they have to have it close by. So I know that there is a... There's a study that, you know, if you grab your phone right away and you pick up your phone in the morning, it just kind of sets, hey James, it just kind of sets the tone for your day with all of that stuff. Um, so I've been charging mine in my bathroom and then that way when my alarm goes off, I don't hit snooze either. But um, that's something that you could do with your children to try to help them. But we have to lead by example. If we're walking around the house with our face on our phone, if you're walking in a parking lot with your face in your phone, what do you think your kids are going to do? What do you think your teenagers are going to do? They're going to do what they see you do. So let's start leading by example and let's show them how important it is to put family first and to really put family first. Just because the family's sitting together and they're all on their phones, that's not quality time. It's not quality time at all. Watching a movie is, yeah, you're not talking, but you're laughing. You might be talking about something in the movie, you know, but it's still making memories. There are no memories behind a screen like this. There's none at all. There's sometimes even in the car that I tell everybody, let's put our phones away and let's just put the windows down. Let's blast the music and let's have a jam session, you know, just because it's fun. It's relaxing. And how great do you feel when you've disconnected from social media for a little bit? You know, it's addicting. Our phones are addicting. Social media is addicting. So 
you know, we have to disconnect sometimes. I totally do. I get my work done, and by the time I'm ready to sit down for lunch, I usually am disconnecting for a little bit, and I sit down, and I'll watch a little bit of a Hallmark Christmas movie. I'll eat my food, you know, just take a little bit of time to, like, just not think about anything, and that feels great. So we need to help our kids with that because there's a lot of stress and anxiety that gets built up, you know, and then not only that, but there's a lot of, you know, bullying, social media bullying and things like that. So the less your children are on there, the better, the less we're on there, the better. Um, it's one thing if, you know, you have to break at work and you're just scrolling to see what's going on and stuff like that. But when we're with our family, we should really be with our family, you know, and, and it's just so crazy because it's almost like families don't know what to do. To be families like they play a board game watch a movie go for a walk you know but it's like they, they forget what to do um so i have a call to action today about this and it's a way for you to um good morning it's a way for you to see if you're really putting your family first so the next time you're together with your family and you are spending that time with them be mindful, take some mental notes about what's going on around you, either what you're doing, what your spouse is doing, what your kids are doing, even your parents. Thanksgiving, at the Thanksgiving table, how many people had their phones taking pictures of the food and the table and Snapchatting and stuff like that? We didn't have phones at our table. There were no phones at the table. I took a picture of the table with all the food way before anybody sat down. Just because I like the pictures, I like the memories and stuff like that. But once we sat down to eat, there were no phones. And that's, be mindful. So that's my call to action. Over the next couple days, be mindful. Take a look at what's going on. Almost be like the outsider looking in. And, and just check out what's going on. And make sure you're checking out yourself too. You almost have to be like that outsider looking in for yourself as well. Because we make mistakes too. We're human. Just because we're moms and dads doesn't mean we don't make mistakes, but we have to lead by example. So take that time, check out and see if you are really being there and having quality time with your family. Are you 100% in that time? Have a good day, guys. Bye. Oh, and don't forget, it's Tanya Tip Tuesday. So probably around lunchtime, I will be going live on my personal page. So make sure you're following me or add me as a friend and I will do my Tanya Tip Tuesday.